guys so before we get into the vlog i just wanted to hop on and say that the first half ish of this video was actually filmed before the tragic murder of george floyd and so if it just seems like i'm not talking about it or if there's something that was relevant to it in a book that i don't really bring up it's because it hasn't happened yet. I noticed when I was editing that there were a lot of those moments. And so I just wanted to come on and say that, but it is something that has been weighing on my heart. And it is something that I do think is very important to stay educated on. And so I have been trying to take advantage of the resources that have been shared with me and sharing resources that I find. And so I am going to link down below some of the resources that I have found really helpful and I urge you guys to check those out and let me know if there's any that I missed. I'm sure there are, but it is something that I do want to continue to educate myself on and to learn from. So I am going to put a timestamp here of when I get some of my more in the moment thoughts on it. But I just wanted to let you guys know that those resources are down there and it is something that is very important to me. It's not something that I'm taking lightly at all. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump on into the vlog. Hey guys, and welcome to my first ever vlog. So this is something that I am so excited to do. I've had this idea for a little bit, but I wanted to wait until school was officially done and I could focus on reading these books. And so, as you could probably tell from the title, I am reading some of my favorite booktubers' favorite books. The first one is Mackenzie Lane. I absolutely love her channel. I take her recommendations to heart. Usually, if she is very passionate about a book, I will read it because uh, just the way she describes books and everything is so great. The book that I decided to read was the Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. So this is a book that I bought because I heard her talking about it and I just put it off because it's a pretty big book. It takes place in World War II and it follows two sisters and I've heard that it's just very emotional and sad and so that is a little intimidating to me. And I know that Mackenzie really really loved this book and it's actually her only book that she's done a full spoilery book talk type of video for and so I thought it'd be perfect. I know that some other books that she's really enjoyed are Daisy Jones and the Six which I loved and Little Women which I also loved. So I actually already started this. I started it about two days ago I want to say. I'm not super far. I am on page 84 chapter 8. Oh and I'm not going to be giving any spoilers away so I'll make comments as I go but everything should be spoiler free. I wanted to read the very first sentence of this book. If I have learned anything in this long life of mine it is this. In love we find out who we want to be. In war we find out who we are. Uh, is that not just beautiful? Like I said I'm new to this whole vlogging thing and I'm not sure how exciting it'll be, especially since we're stuck inside now, but um, I am excited to update you on my reading. I um, yeah, will update you in the morning with Mackenzie's favorite. And oh, another thing is I will have all of their links in the description, so you should definitely follow them because I love watching their stuff, so definitely check those out but I will see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, so long time no see. Well, actually you just saw me, but I have not seen the camera in a while because life just got crazy. The reading has not been the biggest priority, which is sad because I have really enjoyed this, but um, like I said, some days have passed, so I don't remember where I was the last time I updated, but I'm currently on page 178, which is chapter 13, and I'm still really enjoying it. Isabel is just, uh, she's nothing like me. I'm much more of a rule follower. Um, there's no way I'd be doing the crazy things she's doing. I love Isabel too. I feel like she just wants to do the right thing, and I don't know. 
I feel for her with her whole situation with her husband. The scene that just, oh my gosh, my jaw dropped was the list scene. If you know what I'm talking about, if you've read it, you know that it's bad. And oh my gosh, when I was reading about that, I was like, mm, no. I haven't gotten anything that's super emotional or anything like that. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. I'm planning on reading a little tonight and yeah. So I would say that I will see you guys tomorrow but honestly who knows when you'll see me next because days have passed and I don't think vlogging is my strong suit but you know what we're taking it one day at a time good morning guys so I am currently on chapter 20 of the nightingale I stayed up until about one o'clock last night reading I am absolutely loving it it is just so so good it brings out so many emotions in me i haven't cried or anything like that but the emotions have mainly been just like anger i just don't see how people can treat people like that it's just insane like the scene where the nazis just come in and feel like they can take anything from these people and you know ration their food and ration their clothes it just it makes me so angry people can treat others like that and so those scenes just fill me with so much anger which is good that it can make me feel that emotions there's been scenes where I'm nervous for them and I'm I don't know I can't give too much away but I'm absolutely loving it so far and so um I don't have too much to update I'm still loving Isabel she's such a great character I she's so awesome I don't I don't know how else to describe her she just does stuff that I I could never but yeah I am going to take a quick walk um because it has been rainy gross where I live um the past few days and it's finally not supposed to rain today it's just supposed to be cloudy and dreary so I figured I would take advantage of the no rain and take a little walk so i will update you guys when i am done with that so i actually have makeup on my face now i kind of look semi like a human which is not a normal occurrence for this quarantine time but I just filmed the video I thought that I would just relax for the rest of the night and maybe light a candle and read some more of the nightingale good morning guys so I think last time I updated I was in my bed about to read a little bit but that didn't go very well. I've been having a really hard time reading this in my bed at night just because I think it is such like a hard hitting heavy book that it takes a lot out of me, if that makes sense. Um, I've been finding myself needing to kind of stop after chapters and just kind of reflect on what I've read and just, it's been a lot. And so I think that um, reading it at night it's a lot easier to read books that are more just like light and fluffy rather than something that's really emotional and a little draining sometimes to read. But in saying that, I am absolutely loving it. This book is just so perfectly written. I mean, the writing is just beautiful. And when I say that, I don't mean like flowery or over the top. It's just, it's very simple, but it is so perfect for this book. I read a scene yesterday that I'll just say it was at a checkpoint with Rachel and Vianne, and if you've read it, you know what I'm talking about, and it was absolutely heartbreaking, and it was so, so, it's just, it made me so emotional. I mean, I was sitting there reading it and my jaw just dropped. At that scene, to go back to that, I wanted to read a quote because I thought it was just so beautiful. So, like I had mentioned, Vianne has been a character that's kind of just been a rule follower and she hasn't wanted to stand out. 
then she's very opposite of her sister Isabel, where Isabel is very like wants to make a change, wants to make a difference and help people and Vian just wants to be able to take care of her daughter and blend in and not get in trouble. And so um, that's why I thought that this quote just meant so much, but I'll get to it. It says, she knew now that no one could be neutral, not anymore. And as afraid as she was of risking Sophie's life, she was suddenly more afraid of letting her daughter grow up in a world where people did nothing to stop evil, where a good woman could turn her back on a friend in need. I just have felt every emotion possible. Like I've been angry, I've been sad, I've been nervous and anxious and stressed. Chris and Hannah does such a good job of making you feel the things that the characters are also feeling. You feel like you're there and you feel like you are in these situations. When things happen in a fiction book or like fantasy, it's you know that it's not real and that you can kind of distance yourself from it and you enter the this like fictional world and then you come out of it when you're done reading but with this while it's historical fiction so these characters didn't exist these situations happen and like the sad parts of the books like that happened to people and that happened to families when I put the book down I'm still thinking about just how awful that would have been and just I don't know it's just very hard to read because you learn about this stuff in history class but then like reading a book like this where you're following like a family and seeing how these things impact the people around them it is just so so heartbreaking oh, oh my gosh this is moving <laughs> stay okay so i thought i'd hop on and do a quick little update of where i am in the nightingale so i made it to the chapter 36 last night, um, which is page 511. Um, I read quite a bit last night. Um, I was up until about 1, 1.30 reading. So I will talk a little bit about that. But first, I wanted to point out that there was, I'm trying to find it. There was this Okay, here it is. Um, there was this line in the book that said she had read countless romantic novels in her life and she had dreamed of love forever. Even so, she'd never known that a plain old double mattress could become a world unto itself. And always this. And if you watched my last video, you know that I love Taylor Swift. So immediately I thought of her song, Dancing With Our Hands Tied, where she says, and darling, you had turned my bed into a sacred oasis. And now whenever I hear that song, I'm going to think of a certain two people in the Nightingale. So just had to throw that out there. I could not put it down. It was so sad, but it was still just so good. I was so... There's a motorcycle outside. I will just... Here, if you want to know how my reading experience last night went, here you go. There's the picture. Um, I was just distraught. I was a mess. I really think that it might be my new favorite book. So, Mackenzie, thank you for making me read this because I don't think it would have been something I would have picked up on my own because, like I said, I don't read too much historical fiction, which I guess I should. We are all going to go swimming outside in my pool but usually I will just walk in like the shallow area and read or lay out and read and so I think that that's what I'm going to do because I only have about 60 pages left and then I'll be done. I have recovered from last night's cry session at 12 30 a.m but we'll see I might be out in the pool with my family and just be emotional wreck so i will update when i'm finished <music> about a book so I set it down I did snapchat my friends so I'll 
show you those little pictures of me. Those were my th first thoughts, but nothing's really changed. Um, this book absolutely just devastated me. I sat down to try to write my Goodreads review, thinking that this it would make this easier, and I just don't think I can get my thoughts together with this one yet. It was amazing, and it was heartbreaking. Needless to say, I gave this five out of five stars. I was just so emotionally invested in Vianne and Isabel's lives. I have never read a book where I physically just felt just sick to my stomach angry and just so sad. I mean, I'm not usually a book crier. I will tear up, but usually I'm pretty good about holding it in and not just letting it fall and there are multiple points in this book where I was just bawling. This is by far my new favorite book. I really wasn't expecting it to be. I actually picked it as my first one for this video because I wanted to go with the one I was most nervous about. I was really nervous that I would be bored with it and that I wouldn't enjoy it. Like I said, it is a new favorite that I was not expecting at all. I have pages that are just like stained with my tears because I couldn't hold it in. I just loved this sister so much. Isabel, I'm gonna put this down, it's very heavy. I've said from the beginning that I have really loved Isabel and her character and how just driven and motivated she is and just how fearless she is. I mean, she is just so amazing. And then there's her sister who is more focused on her family and just keeping them safe and just wanting to follow the rules and not be wrapped up in all of this craziness. And I think just by the end she realizes that she has to do something. It was just so just devastating to read. And I mean, like I said, I was right there with them. I, I just, I can't, I can't even get the words out. This book truly just changed me. It, it really did. And I did read it pretty slow. I am really glad I took my time with this because it was something that I would read and then kind of put aside and reflect on and think about. And I think that that book definitely needs this. This book is beautiful. I would highly, highly recommend it. It's amazing. So glad I read it. So thank you again, Mackenzie. I am going to watch her video tonight where she does her little spoilery thing because obviously I haven't watched that because I didn't want any spoilers. If I am ready to move on to another book after this, I am going to move on to my second booktuber pick. So the second booktuber favorite I'm going to be reading is from Liv's Library and I chose to read Liv's favorite because I, one, absolutely love her channel so, so much. She's so great. But we also read a lot of different things, and so she definitely reads more fantasy than I do. The things I've read from her, I absolutely love. This was listed as her favorite book and her favorite new series of 2019. So I went ahead and picked The Diviners by Liv Bray for Liv's favorite. So I did read the back, but I don't know too much about it other than that. The main thing I'm getting from this is that it is kind of a little bit of a mystery, maybe a little bit supernatural, and so yeah, I'm really excited to get to this. I would have probably read this first if I would have known how much I was going to love this one. Who knows? Maybe I'll find another favorite book. I'm going to start rambling. Like I said, my thoughts are just so jumbled, so maybe I won't start this tonight. I'm going to cut this off here. I will check back in when I have finally gotten farther in this, whether that is tomorrow, a day from now, a week from now. Who knows when I will be okay again. <laughs> finding this out how did i how did i not look that up hopefully you cannot see my disaster of a room behind me because 
it's just not pretty. I am currently on page 101 of the definers and I am enjoying it so far. It's taking me a little bit longer than I expected to get into it and I think that's partly due to the formatting of this book. The words are just very tiny and the margins are just really wide and I don't know I feel like it just takes me forever to read a page which is kind of annoying <laughs> I just don't feel super motivated to read because I just feel like I don't get very far like I said I'm enjoying it I love that it's told from the multiple viewpoints of different characters my absolute favorite so far is definitely Memphis I am just so intrigued by him I really like learning about his character but also I really like learning about his family like his brother Isaiah and all the stuff with that I have just found it so interesting and so he's definitely my favorite so far this isn't a spoiler it's on the back but if you want to know nothing about this then pause until I put the book down but on the back of the book it tells us that a girl was murdered and that is what they are trying to figure out it's kind of a mystery and there is a chapter where we do get to see the point of view from the girl that was murdered which I found so interesting and so that was one I really liked okay the spoilers done my least favorite point of view so far has actually been Evie I'm not the biggest fan of her yet I kind of find her annoying so far and part of that could be because she is kind of an immature character she comes to New York because she has some trouble back home in Ohio and she's living with her uncle to try to straighten her out I guess so I'm hoping that she has some character development she grows a little as the story goes on but so far she just is kind of annoying to me she has these little phrases and words that she uses that they're just repeated over and over again like one is positively and it's hyphenated every time she says it or absolutely she also adds ski onto a lot of words so like you bet ski and how she says that one a lot too i don't know what it is about it but every time she says it i just roll my eyes a little i don't like it so we'll see if i can get past that other than evie i have enjoyed all of the characters I'm intrigued with everyone. I feel like we have so much more to learn about the uncle and Memphis and just everybody. I have a lot of book left so I'm hoping to read a little tonight and I will update when I am a little farther in the book to let you know what I think. So it has been a little bit since I have last updated. Honestly, it just has not felt appropriate to do that with everything that is going on in the world right now, specifically the just awful, unnecessary murders of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. I honestly, I haven't even done much reading um, of my book. I've done a lot of reading articles people have shared and I've been looking up a lot of videos of people explaining their experiences with racism or have those tough conversations with people that's something that my family and I've been doing is just talking about everything something I really am trying to get better at is just not being afraid to say something wrong but learning from it I am going to leave some helpful links down below it feels weird to kind of switch topics because I know that there's never enough that you can say about it, but I am going to come on here and update a little on my book that I'm reading, which is The Diviners. Something I didn't know about this book, I knew it took place in the 20s, but it does deal a lot with 
some topics that are still pretty relevant today, especially with everything going on right now. So it does mention some racism and how our character Memphis, who is black, he experiences some racism, especially with the character that he has kind of sparked a little bit of a something with. Another thing that was brought up that was really hard to read and after this I kind of put the book down for a little bit because it was hard reading about real stories of this happening and then seeing it in my book. It's talking about how Mabel is at a protest with her parents. One of the protests um, actually gets shut down by the police and it's talking about how like police whistle sounded and um, a tear gas canister landed in the crowd just stuff stuff that you're hearing about today and that's really hard to read this because I don't think it would have hit as hard if I would have read it before all of this happened but now reading it and then seeing it happen in real life it's very hard I don't I'm not really explaining my thoughts very well Memphis is still I think my favorite character I have love his story. I didn't even say what page I'm on. I'm on 348. Um, so I've read about 200 pages since I last updated. Um, but yeah, he's my favorite character. I think his family is so interesting. I'm so interested in what's going on with his brother. I'm not going to give away spoilers, but just some stuff that's happened with his friends. And I just think he has so much to still unpack. I've also started to like Evie more. I know I mentioned before that she was pretty annoying, but her phrases have kind of settled down a little bit. She says some, which is fine, I would expect it, but there was one page where earlier on she added ski to a word, I want to say it was three times on a page, and it was just so unnecessary. But she's kind of cooled down a little bit. Um, now that I say that, she's probably going to say it so many times towards the end. She has gotten less annoying. And we have kind of learned more about her and why she is the way that she is. Why she's so... She has a very strong personality. And I think that that's really explained a little bit more in the book. I am hoping to finish this soon. I'm actually going to the lake this weekend. Um... We are staying in a house and we are staying on our area so for those of you who have seen videos of people just all together in the lake with no masks that will not be us we're having a very chill weekend in a house but i would like to get this done before i leave tomorrow but um, I've also been pretty distracted with this book. So I've mentioned before that I was a speech language pathology major. I just graduated and I say that way too much in my videos. I'm so sorry. I do have to take a test to become certified so I can work. And um, so I bought this and I really want to read all of it. But like, guys, it is tedious. It is just... It's a textbook, is what it is. As a joke, because I keep telling my mom that I just wish I was reading something else, and I keep getting updates on like my Libby app that my holds have come in because I'm just so behind on everything that I wanted to count this towards my Goodreads goal, and so I scanned it, and it's actually on Goodreads. So I tweeted tonight asking if that could count as my Goodreads goal, and right now, yes, is my thing, but there have been a couple of people that have said no. So I think you should comment down below that if I, only if I read every single word in this book, I will not comment if I don't. But if I do read this, does it count towards my Goodreads goal? I feel like it should because it's really cutting into my enjoyable reading. So just putting that out there. I think that's pretty much all. I am really enjoying the book. I don't think I said that. I really am enjoying the book so far. It's definitely spooky. I'm a wimp and so all of this stuff talking about supernatural stuff, it's very creepy to me and they talk a lot about biblical 
things like there's a lot of scripture that's brought up that always scares me more because i am a christian and so the bible is what i believe in and so when they're using the bible to i don't know i i don't want to give spoilers away but it's just the way things are twisted in it and i don't know it's just very spooky to me but i've really been enjoying it but like i said with all the stuff going on in the world right now it is a little hard to read some of those things and process it wow this took place in the 20s and here we are in 2020 and it's still happening and that is difficult to really process sometimes so that's it what i see you next I will be done with this book and it will be before I'm headed out tomorrow. Okay, so surprise, I did not finish the book that I said I was going to finish, but I only have about 10 pages, so hopefully I will finish it tonight. But instead of being productive and reading, I made my boyfriend here, who's <laughs> ignoring me, we are at... Barnes and Noble. So, uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Um, I need to find my mask. Oh, here it is. And then we are going in. <laughs> finally put some makeup on her face but you'll look at that so i finished the diviners last night i didn't film anything when i finished it because it was really late and i just didn't so here i am today i ended up giving it like a 3.75 at five it wasn't exactly a four for me I ended up really liking evie actually i think she ended up being a very strong character and she grew a lot looking back on it i kind of like that in the beginning she was very immature and selfish and that she really grew and i don't know i ended up really liking that about her one thing i will say last night that kind of mm, disturbed me was there's a scene at the end with a cat and then another scene a little bit later with a bunny and I just found them very unnecessary <laughs> it was very gruesome and I am such an animal lover that that was a little hard to read excluding that I did like how everything wrapped up um the ending kind of did drag out a little bit in my opinion the whole graveyard scene stuff um kind of went on a little bit long for me but again it was late so maybe my brain was just shutting down completely i did end up ordering the second one on amazon so i'm excited to see where it goes because i still have so many questions memphis was still my favorite character out of everybody i just thought his story was so interesting like all this stuff with his mom and his brother and just everybody around him blind bill what's going on with him so i was just really intrigued with his story and i do wish i would have had more of him but i know that there are two other books out right now and so i am going to continue on because it has definitely got my attention i'm excited it was definitely spooky i am a wimp and so there were a lot of times when i was just very scared so shout out to Liv for introducing me to the diviner series and also to Mackenzie for introducing me to the nightingale because these are two books that i'm not really sure i would have picked up just on my own so huge thank you to them and their information their links to the channels will be down in the description so that pretty much wraps up my first vlog i spent longer on it than I thought that I would. I wasn't expecting it to be like a month long process but I definitely had fun with it and hopefully next time if there is a next time I can 
get them read a little quicker. As usual, if you would like to see more bookish content from me, you can subscribe down below, comment if you have read either of these two books or what your favorite booktuber recommendation has been so far. Thank you so much for sticking out and watching this video if you even made it to the end, but um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!